Hello and welcome back to the Rusty Law Firm and, of course, RimWorld. Last time, I believe we just set up these nice little office cubicles. Zaif appears to be hanging out in Fleming's room for no apparent reason. Zaif, that is considered uh, a very strange move. We are really judging you right now, Zaif. That is unusual. Why'd you bring your muffalo in there, too? I mean, technically, he's not your muffalo, but close enough. Just get out. Jeez, Zaif. He's ridiculous. Anyway, we are continuing to build the majority of the law firm, which I think is going pretty well. I mean, look at what we got here. This is pretty solid. Um, we still need to get this little thing done because that's kind of important for the walk-in fridge. And um, overall, I would say things are going pretty nicely. Why are we setting that bed up? Who's building that bed? Why are people building a bed right over here? Nobody wants to build that bed. Don't build that bed. Don't do it. That's terrible. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna take a guess that I put that in place for... Oh, right. I remember why we're building that bed. We need to deconstruct it. Not... Oh, wait. I can just deconstruct it without even having it installed. Oh. Well, that's a lot easier. There you go. Okay, that's gonna be deconstructed at some point because we just don't need it. We're trying to focus on stone beds inside the actual law firm because they're just a lot nicer. Instead of having disgusting little wooden beds, those are the worst. Do we, okay, we do have some steel. I don't know why nobody's working on these power lines. Probably because Dahlia is kind of caught in doing farm work and uh, everyone else is doing something else. I guess that's acceptable. You're all trying to work for the betterment of the colony. I see how it is. I understand. Anyway, if we can get Zaif possibly to um, haul some of these potatoes and rice out, that would be really nice because they're currently sitting in the middle of nowhere. Definitely not in a walk-in fridge, which is kind of a problem. I would like for these to get away. Um, Zaif... I'm actually gonna set you to a uh, number one. Oh, why is mining number one? Set that to two. Crafting, eh, set that to two as well. You're gonna get, don't do research. We need hauling, there we go. Zaif was really trying to get out of hauling by having all of his other work orders be in ridiculous positions. <sighs> yeah, Zaif was hiding in his room previously. But, Zaif, you're gonna haul all of that food back into the colony because I don't want any of that going bad. I know we basically, I'm pretty sure, have a growing season year-round, but, you know, we still need to make certain that we have as much food as possible. Especially since, whenever we get clients in, it's gonna be kind of important to do some form of ridiculous, like, banquet thing. That sounds, that sounds pretty good. I like banquets pretty sure most people enjoy banquets you know what if any of you guys don't enjoy banquets you are disgusting disgusting degenerates just saying not not to judge you too hard but i'm seriously judging you right now anyway so in terms of cooling down these rooms i don't really want to set this up here I kind of want rooms to continue to build off of this right along. You know, we could have. We'll have, um, basically, this is going to be one row of cubicles. And then we can have in this little tile an open, like, back alley area where we can vent all of the cooler heat out this way. And that'll allow us to have coolers going off into what will probably be the second set of, um... Uh, cubicles over this way and that should be quite nice and, and of course we'll vent all of this into the other cubicles as well because you know we can't just have one cubicle getting dealt with every cubicle needs to get dealt with Zaif what are you doing right now why are you putting gazelles away when you should be putting food away those aren't even food gazelles they're just bones now you have bad thoughts because you went and like saw some dead people you know, admittedly, we should probably find a way to get rid of the, uh, dead- Where are we gonna put dead people? Because we specifically need an area exclusively for dead people, because, you know, we kind of create a lot of dead people. 
Yeah, this is just kind of how things go around here. You can't have a colony without, at the same time, creating dead people. Zayf, why are you not hauling food right now? Of all of the- there we go. Come on, Zayf. The only thing that you need to be hauling right now is all of the food back into that walk-in fridge. I literally care about nothing else. Except that you prob probably that you don't die while doing that. That'd be nice. Kibble. Nobody likes kibble. What even is kibble? Kibble. Animal feed for made from mixed meat and plant sources. Humans can eat it, but they really, really don't like it. Yeah, um, that's not really the best thing for the cargo gods to bestow upon us, but whatever, whatever. Who has a minor risk? It better not be Zaif. Fleming, why are you so depressed? You're building stuff. You should be very happy. What are your needs? Oh, she's hot. She's apparently depressive in an ugly environment, feeling bad with an awful, be awful bedroom. Fleming, look at this thing. This thing is amazing, Fleming. Don't even right now. Are you serious? Come on, Fleming. Like, get with the program here. This is the best room in the building right now. I mean, uh, if you can call it a building, it's not much of a building. It's really just kind of a, a, a pseudo hallway that's connected to some stuff. Yeah, if calling it a building is kind of going a bit too far at this point. We're working on it, okay? We're working on it. And speaking of working on it, Zaif, you no lo longer need to haul stuff like nobody's business. You actually need to get to crafting as per usual. Stone chunks for you, Zaif. You're going to be the best crafter in the world, I can assure you. He's already gotten 11 crafting, which is pretty impressive. Oh, and he is on fire for crafting. That's really good. That's perfect. Zaif, you know exactly where it's at right now. That's beautiful. Fleming is not on fire for construction, but she is getting better, which is good because she's our builder right now. Dahlia, I'm pretty sure you're getting all those things worked on. Cooking is a big one for her as well as growing, but she's got ridiculous growing skills right now. Props to you, Dahlia. You're like the best grower in the world. Basically, while we are a law firm, we are also, I guess, an agricultural business? Pretty sure that's never been a combination business ever. The um, law firm and agricultural uh, company, otherwise known as... Um, law grow, question mark? I don't even know. That sounds ridiculous. Hey, can anyone get this done? Yo, are there marble blocks? Fleming, you finish this small corner of the room. I cannot accept that not being built. It is really annoying me. Like, excessively. Thank you, Fleming. I very much appreciate that. Jeez. Fleming is ridiculous. Anyway, that should get that room done and that's actually that set of cubicles all completed outside of of course you know the actual structures fleming how do you like your room you better say that you really like your room she hates it it's an awful bedroom i'm gonna punch you in the face fleming but i can't actually punch you in the face because i'm an omniscient voice in the sky and apparently omniscient voices in the sky don't actually have fists <sighs> it's kind of a problem it's just a small one Really annoying for the omniscient voice in the sky, but really good for everyone else because, you know, none of them get punched. So what do we actually need? For one, we need wood. That's kind of important. We do continue to need stone bricks because we are never going to stop needing stone bricks. That is basically a continual necessity of the colony. But we, but we need wood. We also probably need some steel to get all of these vents and coolers done. Okay, wood is pretty easy to figure out. Looks like we've got some good steel down here that we can grab. I see how it is. I see. So, Flem so Zaif, I'm going to guess... What should Zaif actually do right now? We've got, what, 35 stone? Okay, Zaif... Get on mining for a little while. We'll get Fleming to do some plant cutting. We'll just uh, designate some chopped down trees somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. Over here. Yeah, sure. Um, Fleming, you're gonna go on. Oh, look! There's a bunch of steel over here. It's just sitting out in the middle of nowhere. 
Jeez. Who just put that there? Fleming, did you just put that there? Fleming, I'm watching you. I know what you're doing, Fleming. I'm gonna judge you so hard for this. Okay, if that's the case, we're not gonna have Fleming go commit a tree genocide, which is, by the way, what I was about to say. Instead, we're going to get her to finish up the um, cooling area for here so that hopefully she doesn't suffer from heat stroke over the course of the whole, you know, sleeping in a room thing. Because that'd be kind of annoying. We're also going to, I think we'll move Fleming out of here because quite frankly, Fleming is currently in a blazing hot room that I feel is not conducive to his uh, current happiness, which is sort of important. So we'll get um, Fleming to tear down this bed and then Zaif will move into the actual law firm, despite being basically our, um, I don't know, what do we even consider him to be? I'm pretty sure he's like a gopher at this point. That's just what he does. He just goes around and does whatever the colony needs to get done while everyone else has actual legitimate jobs to get done. Like Zaif, of course, being the only mason in the colony, which is sort of important. Can you not finish that gun complex and instead build a cooler? I will admit, Fleming, that's the only time I'm ever going to say those words. Don't finish a gun complex. Every other time, you are 100% allowed to finish it. But in this particular strange instance, I would really rather have that... Are you moving exclusively five steel over to that cooler? Fleming, when did that sound like a good idea? Who thought that was a good idea, Fleming? Not you? Good. Jeez. These people, they do not know what efficiency is. What you doing, Zaif? You tearing down some stuff? I like you, Zaif. You know what's up, Zaif. Don't mess up or we will execute you. You always have to leave that when you uh, talk to your subordinates because um, if they ever think that you're not going to execute them at some point, they could try to take advantage of that situation wherein they are not being threatened to be executed to um, potentially do some form of rebel uprising. But um, that's not going to happen here because we know exactly how to keep people in line by basically threatening their life constantly. Look, I know some people will say it's not the best and most efficient system to uh, maintain a law firm. In fact, I'm pretty sure some would actually say it's against the law. But uh, you know what? I don't think our law firm is against being terribly corrupt. I'm certainly not against being terribly corrupt when I am an omniscient voice in the sky who is basically in charge of everything. So uh, I don't see any problems with this. The omniscient voice gets to decide what the omniscient voice does. Anyway, so that vent is up and running. Zaif should be moving into this room soon enough. And if Fleming can actually get... Why are you trying to build the gun complex first? What? Oh, my word. How many gazelles are there? There's three? Uh, this is terrifying, actually. There are gazelles coming for us. Um, everyone! Battle stations! The gazelles are coming! They're going to kill us. They're going to kill every single one of us. They're going to eat our flesh, people. I don't like gazelles. I never liked them to begin with. Please retreat out into the wilderness where we will try to make a last stand against the gazelles. In previous situations, we have actually done so very... P Fleming! Fleming, they are coming for you like nobody's business. Fleming is getting into that position. Zaif is moving in there. Take him down, guys. Take him down. Get him wrecked! Oh, you guys are doing really good. I mean, this is a bunch of animals. Usually, that means that we would be slaughtered like nobody's business. Jeez, you guys are really good at killing animals. Props to you. Well, I thought we were going to die for a moment. I thought that was it. Like, I saw my entire life flash before my eyes. It was it was very, very short and uh, mostly filled with apparently just yelling at a bunch of colonists. I don't... Wow. Um, my voice is an omniscient... My life is an omniscient voice in the sky is apparently pretty simple. It's basically just command everyone to do stuff, which... Quite frankly, when it comes down to it, I'm not against that kind of a life. That's okay. We can deal with that. 
Anyway, we did manage to kill the gazelles. Hopefully they'll be butchered up and eaten, unlike the last gazelles that died who were not butchered up and eaten. Dahlia, are you meditating after having seen so much death? She doesn't like violence, you know? She's not about that. She's a grower. And while normally I would severely um, accost anyone who was uh, against violence, in this case, given that Dahlia is actually quite useful to the colony, I can understand her uh, unhappiness with violent action, sort of. You know, I can understand it to the extent that I won't uh, rail against her, but not to the extent that I actually condone it. If you could stop being a pacifist, that'd be great. Because there's a lot of stuff that needs to get shot around here. And I don't know about you, but Zaif and Fleming are really not suited to do all the shooting. Uh, how Are they seriously injured at all, by the way? Eh. Eh, it's nothing. It's just a few bruises. They should be fine. Nobody gets infected by bruises, right? Right? Watch Zaif just get the worst infection in his leg. He's just going to die a terrible death. Oh, that's going to be the worst. Anyway, I'm pretty sure Zaif will survive. So, what we really need to do is... Fleming, are you still building the steel gun complex? Jeez, you are hell-bent on building that thing, aren't you? I don't even think we have enough steel out here. Fleming, can you... Fine, get it done. We need defenses. It's important. I understand. Can we actually uninstall these? Oh, we can. Oh, that's beautiful. Once we actually build some sort of defensive position in front of this law firm, which I'm pretty sure is going to be a thing at some point, um, that will be quite nice. We'll be able to set up probably in this area. Because most, if not all, of this uh, section of the colony will be torn down at some point once it's no longer useful and we've got um, basically the same things in here. We can tear all of this down and if we mine out this entire little section here, that's going to leave a pretty open plane in front of the law firm. We can set up like a checkpoint for caravans to come through and some machine guns all around. It's going to be beautiful. This will be the best law firm you've ever seen and the only law firm you've ever seen with heavy machine guns at the front. Probably. You know, admittedly, I'm going to guess that there is actually a law firm somewhere that has heavy machine guns at the front. Yeah, that's probably a thing in some like war-torn place. That doesn't actually sound terribly unreasonable. Okay, we'll be one of the only law firms with heavy machine guns at the front. I'm pretty sure we're the only ones who uh, very commonly and actively use them. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. We're basically going to be a military complex with a law firm inside. Strange as that sounds. Oh, gun placement. Oh, I just love those gun complexes. They are so beautiful. So nice. Uh, anyway, so with that completed, Fleming should be working on both... What is she building? Oh, she's building this cooler here. That's actually a good idea. I mean, as soon as you actually also build that door, which is also a good idea. Fleming, can you build that door? Actually, we can actually get enough resources to build the door by basically deconstructing Zaif's old room because we no longer need it. It is not at all important. If you could actually prioritize the deconstruction of stuff and then build that wooden door prior, that'd be great. Nope, you're not eating anything until that door is finished. Wait, that's not enough? Where did that wood even come from? Jeez, anyway. Um, there we go. With that door done, we should be able to finish that cooler with no problem. And then we'll have a fully functioning walk-in fridge, which is going to be the best. Or at least close to the best. Pretty, it's somewhere near there. Should probably also get rid of... Not get rid of, but mine out some of these components just to, you know, pad out our component quantity. Because we got, like, two components right now, and that's not even enough for a cooler, so... Slight problem there. Basically, these gun complexes take a ton of components because it is literally a gun, and I feel like, you know, of all the things that take components, guns probably take the most. 
That's not true. There's definitely things that take more components. Like, what What are you picking up right now? What is it? What are these components doing just sitting at... Zaif! No, Zaif! Prioritize hauling those components. They cannot sit out. You are a gopher. You need to get this done, Zaif. Thank you, Zaif. But don't get cocky. We're watching you. He's a good worker. He knows what he's doing. He's really got it under control. I mean, he's got all the skills. Oh, my word. Look at all the gazelles. Uh, I think we really lucked out on only having three gazelles to fight previously. Ugh. If we had had, like, six, that would have been the end of the colony. That would have been it. We are very lucky that there were so few gazelles. Thank you, um, narrator who sent the gazelles against us. While I don't like having gazelles attack our colony, I do appreciate that you did it at, at a time when the gazelles would not absolutely murder us. That is quite nice. Anyway, I think as we expand, our next big thing is going to be to get Rusty's room up and running so that we have everyone who is currently in the colony in one of the rooms in here so we're gonna set this up like this with of course the nice pillars for protection and this is gonna be Rusty's new room with a built-in cooler all to his own and we're gonna have just a little door leading out here and to prevent people from walking through it all the time we're just gonna have one door in the center that leads into Rusty's room Man, he is going to live a life of luxury, I'm going to tell you right now. He is the true leader of this brilliant law firm. Anyway, for now, that'll bring us to the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Next time, we'll get to work on Rusty's room. It's probably going to take half a century to actually finish it. Or, if not the entire uh, lifespan of the colony as his room is basically going to have to be a castle in and of itself but you know we'll get it done at least to some extent and then we'll have rusty move in there soon enough but anyway until next time thanks for watching and of course as always enjoy the rest of your day